All right, what's going on guys? If you haven't bought your USB updater yet for your Dragon Link version 2, go ahead and go to fpvpro.com. Link in, is in the description below. At the time of this review, it's about $19, and honestly, it's a, it's a little a little steep for just two wires that just update your Dragon Link. I think a more, more reasonable price would be like 10 bucks or less. Uh, hopefully in the future, Dragon Link will incorporate a USB plug on the module itself. But it does include two stickers, so that was pretty cool. I'll definitely be using those. Uh, all right, now go ahead and go to Dragonlink's website dot com, uh, Dragonlink dot com, and uh, go under their support tab and click downloads to download the firmware to update it through your computer. All right, go ahead and uh, click Dragonlink version two transmitter receiver firmware should be on should be the top thing. Don't click open from the internet browser go ahead and go to your downloads tab on your computer and then extract it from there all right and it'll make a new folder called dragon link next gen that is unzipped uh, just like a normal folder and for my defaults under downloads tab just make it sure it is under downloads there it is dragon link next gen and the .exe file is that software that will run on your computer to update the Dragon Link firmware. And no comp parts found, that's okay because I don't have anything plugged in, just making sure it works. All right, and based on my understanding, these files here, transmitter, starts with the TX and the May 2014-11. Version 11, uh, May 2014 was the last uh, time they updated it at the time of this review and that's the no file that you normally use to update your Dragon Link. It's same with the receiver RX. I'm more interested in the alternative version folder where it includes the version 11 also, but it's 1280 optimized, meaning that it should help reject more of that 1280 frequency. If you're running 1.3 video, it should help uh, not interfere so much. I'm gonna go, you, you gotta make sure to run both transmitter and receiver that 1280 optimized on both sides. Go ahead and uh, supply your own mini USB cable. Mine had a little uh, trouble getting in, but it got in fine, worked fine. Now power up your Dragon Link transmitter like you normally would for a flight and make sure you have that green light. And go ahead and then plug in that USB data port into that Dragon Link you have. All right, I'm gonna go run in that, that .exe file Make sure I have the right COM. COM3 is the only COM that I have available. I'm gonna click refresh just to make sure. And then I'm gonna click browse to find the correct file to update the transmitter. Uh, you might use the normal transmitter file. I'm gonna go ahead and go under downloads where that folder was extracted. Uh, I'm gonna go use that alternative version uh, because it has that 1280 optimized uh, so transmitter version 11 1280 optimized. I'm going to go ahead and use that file All right, go ahead and click update dragon link uh, Dragon link says that if the process should take about 10 to 15 about seconds if, if it takes it instantly like two three seconds That means something's not plugged in the USB cable might be faulty or something either way It has not updated successfully uh, in my case, it has updated successfully, but if it does it instantly, it'll still display that message that it has successfully updated. So be, be aware of that. All right, go ahead and un unplug that data port and power off your Dragon Link. All right, now I'm going to use the receiver adapter cable that also is included. It only plugs in one way. Uh, same with the other end. It only plugs in one way on the side where the antenna is. Uh, I took off the antenna because it's easier to plug in and plug out that plug. Now go ahead and do the same thing, browse and find the correct file. And since I'm using the 1280 optimized transmitter, I'm also going to have to use the receiver 1280 optimized version 11. Go ahead and click update Dragon Link. The LED should flicker. Again, this should take about 10-15 seconds. Uh, if it takes instantly, like 2-3 seconds, that means it hasn't updated it uh, truly. All right, now go ahead, since we have updated everything, 
we're going to go ahead and have to change ID transmitter. So hold the bind plug down and power on and keep holding it until that LED turns off like it just did. Then go ahead and power off your Dragon Link. You have now just changed the ID of your Dragon Link. This is recommended by Dragon Link themselves after you have done this update. And now, since you have changed ID, you must rebind. Uh, go ahead and again hold that bind plug and power on and hold it until you see that yellow orange LED and let, go ahead and let go. Make sure you have that flickering uh, or orange yellow LED indicating that it, it is in bind mode. Alright, go ahead and now power up your receiver. In my case, I'm using an ESC with a 5 volt supply. Uh, it powered on, all the, the status light was green, and that's all you need. And then I went ahead and unplugged it. Then you can power off your Dragon Link. Uh, now power it back on like you normally would with that green light, just to make sure your receiver has successfully blown. I have the green light, I'm good. Now I'm going to go ahead and power up the receiver. I should have a blue light that's solid, indicating that I have a solid signal with my Dragon Link. All right, that's all. Uh, that, I was actually surprised it didn't take that much long to do the entire process. So I definitely recommend doing it this update because it'll help out your Dragon Link to be up to date with the correct software and perhaps even help out with your 1.3 video. Just like me, hopefully it'll work out. Alright, thank you again. Please subscribe, like the video. See ya.